got my rainbow slash PWM, I believe. PWN, PWM. Rainbow slash PWM, I think it is. Oh man, I should have looked. But it's got fan headers right here. Five. So I got two fans on here. They're actually the two the two front fans. Um This goes to my front, the front screen. These goes to my. Didn't look like it was plugged in all the way. These two right here go to my ARGB um, neon ARGB strips. It's powered by SATA. Right here is the rainbow. Uh, the rainbow switch and this cord right here goes to my motherboard the ARGB on the motherboard so I, I literally only got one ARGB cord hooked up to the board and then the other two strips right here well actually I got three strips but I got them daisy chained now I'm thinking about it Now I kind of don't remember. I think these are the, the two strips. But I got them all three daisy chains. So now I kind of remember. It's my course here. Um, RGB hub. And I got four Corsair QL120s in this I like the case one thing I don't like about the case and I know that a lot of cases do this but then some don't or have more room but they're just uglier looking cases I think uh, it's dirty right there I just got it through cleaning it but you can't even see that um, I think that's it. Samsung, uh, 500 gig SSD. This is the Pro 860 or 760. If I'm wrong on saying what it is, I'll have the specs in the in the. I have the specs written down on it, anyways, in the video. I think this is the Samsung 500 gig 860 or 960, 970. And I just touched the glass now, I just got fingerprints all over it. So I still got more ARGB leads. This one right here goes to the front of the case. And this one right here too. And these fans, I don't remember if I, they plugged on the motherboard, but I just plugged them here. Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say. When I put this, look at the, look at the power cable coming from the power supply is almost as big as they actually the side of the case bends a little look at it. the side of the case bends a little bit like they understand they built this case for straight up RGB you know you'll know what I'm talking about when you see it but they give no room knowing that this case is gonna have a whole bunch of RGB wires plugs, adapters, extra stuff. See, like these, I'm not even going to use no big old IDE drive, so I was going to take this out, but it's connected to the whole thing, so I can't take that out. Well, I probably could, but then you'll see all the wires.
Use the magic right here. Stupid cables. I hate the cables in the front, man. Why didn't they put the cables in the back? It's one thing about this, these video cards now. They know you're going to get a big, you know, they know video cards are big. So whoever buys them should know they're pretty big. And of course you're going to have the case room for it. But I still think they should have had them coming off the back of the video card instead of just blocking the whole thing. Yeah, I just got regular, uh, actually these are the fans that came with my, uh, my liquid cooler. It's dusty, man, look, like, it gets real dirty, but I keep the, the little rubber pieces over the, USBs, so dirt and sand or nothing don't get in it. Get in it. Just pain in the ass. I have to clean this computer like every week. It is so dirty and dusty here where I live now. I'm not surrounded by grass no more. I'm not in Long Beach. I'm in the desert now. I'm about to get more RGBs. Or um, um, uh, um, another 16 gigs of uh, Corsair Vengeance Pro SL. Let me get another 16 gig of that. So I'm waiting to get that before I like show all the RGB profiles and have profiles up. Got a VGA bracket. Help support the video card. My even my older, smaller video cards would bend. My RX 470 bent, so I don't want this one to bend, break my PCI slot or nothing. I don't know how to turn the light off this phone once it's recording. So. Got one of these keyboards because long, like years ago, playing Battlefield 1942, um, I was using like keyboards with the regular WSAD keys like this. But if you notice, you gotta kind of keep your finger like a claw. So you literally gotta play like a claw. And if you look at my finger, I mean, it got bent from that shift key. I mean, I guess that's the proof of dedicated gamer. Broke my finger from it. So with these ones, now look, look how your hands are. Wait, I'm trying, okay. See how you're like this? Now with these ones, you're literally like this. It's claw. Go like this. Oh, your finger's more relaxed. It's easier in your hands. So I got one of these top keyboards, like, Years ago, Battle for 1942. Then I ended up getting the Steel Series Merc Stealth Gaming Keyboard.
sometimes when I start it up, those, the army crate sticks right there, I don't know why. And with the fans, it's a sequence. You gotta time it right to make it look a certain way. Red, no, blue. Get that one changed to red. Okay, now blue. Shit. Camera does not pick up the colors like I would expect and want. These right here, they're deep red and blue. It just you gotta see it in person, it looks completely different. Forgot my video card off. Well, it takes a second for this one to open up. One thing about the video card, um, Precision X, it's the same style of RGBs or whatever, like these. These can be changed. There's literally like a couple presets for this, but there, it's not really customizable. Yeah, it looks orange in the camera, but it's red. There's magic. Front of the case. The front of the case, it looks like you can stick your hand like literally in the middle of the case. That's how far these look like they go back. I got this. I'm trying to hold it still, man. I'm using a phone. Okay, got this. I have to pick one. A bunch of different types. The Star Wars thing. So the other fan off right there, it just constantly, I kept getting just piles of dust under there, so I got rid of that one fan.
Kraken Z73 water cooler. Oh, I still zoomed in. Oh, wow. I wonder why it looked different. I don't know if you can tell, but the colors that I went with was like a Star Wars theme, like red and blue. They don't look red, it looks orange, but what the hell? My dog just laid right on my leg. I'm work I'm working on getting these memories this month and then I'm going to have, you know, I'm going to set the camera on something so it's not all wobbly and take the side of the glass off so you can see it a little clearer because it's probably reflecting on the glass. But I got, I've made kind of a lot of things. Plus I got like the infinity mirror in the front right here. It's got presets. And I got all that hooked up to that, um, that rainbow PWM hub in the back and these light bars I wish this this phone would pick up the colors don't pick the colors up though but you can see I think it's one of the nicest looking cases I've seen and I'm not done yet Good. Then two more uh, sticks of memory for a total of 32 gigs. Should have got it in the first place, but should have got two 30 or two 16 gig chips. But I didn't. I'm getting another giant light bar. Another one of these big ones like this. Almost dropped the phone. Yeah, that's one a big light bar right there. Kind of looped it around like that. Actually, looks nice like that too. I'm gonna get another one of these, uh, another one of these big light bars to put around there, and then I'll probably then I'll have this smaller bar that's like this size because it came with a double pack. I don't know. I might put that like by the motherboard right there or something. I'm not sure yet. Eventually, I'll probably get some lighted fans, but I don't know about Corsair because these things are expensive. Corsair QO120s. And they're not even like deep color, so yeah, I'm not I'm not buying any, uh, one of these. I want like color that'll match the deepness of this. 